Right, what we're doing today, Tom, we're going to try and make some gears like this. Okay? Yeah. We're going to try and make some slightly bigger ones. These okay. are a 30 tooth. Now I'll just show these to the camera. These are a 30 tooth gear. Okay, what I'm going to be doing is going to be making some gears for this uh, contraption, this magnet motor that I'm 99% certain will not work. Uh, but somebody sent me an email saying I should make the spacing of the spindles, which uh, these two, you can see this contraption on one of my other videos. So that these, are, instead of being too close together, are further apart. In order to do that, I'd have to make some more gears. What I ended up doing was making some sleeves. These are a couple of sleeves which sit into these holes here, which gives me adjustment. So what I've done, I've measured the centre between the spindles there and, I've, and it works out at about 2.75 2.75 inches I'm going to be using a 12 diametrical pitch cutter um, and I'll just show you how I would normally work that out I don't know if this is the way that you well, well, the way that you're supposed to do it but this is the way I always do it I have a pitch circle diameter of 2.75 2.75 equals number of teeth divided by diametrical pitch. So therefore 2.75 equals number of teeth over 12. It's a 12 diametrical pitch cutter. Um, di the diametrical pitch is the size of the tooth that you're actually using. Um, so that's 2.7, that equates to, um, what I need to do is um, isolate the number of teeth to work out how many number of teeth I can fit in that 2.75 um, pitch circle diameter. So what I do is I need to transpose that formula to isolate the N on one side of the equal sign and put all the calculation, all the known quantities on the other side. Um, so to cancel that 12 out there, you put times 12 on the other side, uh, that equals 2.75 times 12 equals number of teeth. Uh, 2.75 times 12 is 33 and it's fallen exactly on 33. So. Um, I know it's a 33 tooth gear which I will be making. The outside diameter of the gear is what you machine it to on your lathe. Um, outside diameter is equal to number of teeth plus 2 divided by diametrical pitch. The outside, so therefore the, the outside diameter is 33 plus 2 over 12. Outside diameter equals 35 over 12. So therefore the outside diameter on this particular gear needs to be 2.916 or 74.09 millimeters. On one of my other videos I showed you that this dividing head is a Boxford dividing head but I can actually mount my Myford chuck on it because I made um, one of these. Now this, even though it looks like a Morse taper 2, isn't a Morse taper 2. Um, that's why I couldn't buy one. This doesn't actually fit into the Myford. Uh, I also made a drawbar to fit in the end of it, as you can see. So the way I mount the Myford chuck on it is I take the box for chuck off and to protect them threads there I'll just zoom in a bit to protect 
detect the threads put the nut on there and then I've chamfered this part of this adapter that I've made so that, that fits I don't know whether you can see that properly as you can see it fits on there and the nut if I unscrew it a little bit you can see it doesn't actually touch the adapter and then on the back side I then screw the drawbar in this drawbar does, does screw in quite a way and it screws in enough so that it still allows the dividing head to twist round. This is the cutter that I'm going to be using. It's a 12 diametrical pitch, number 4. This cutter will cut teeth between 26 and 34 teeth. The D plus F is 0.18 of an inch. That's the depth plus um, the F I think stands for the amount of clearance at the bottom as you can see in there you can just and so see a little bit of clearance in the bottom of the valley of the tooth uh, that's what the F stands for this is the arbor that I will be using uh, I made this myself just a homemade arbor to mount the cutter on um, that slots on there I haven't actually, um, I should have a small woodruff key in there to put to put in there. I haven't actually put a woodruff slot in them at the moment. Uh, but that goes on there like that. And then that tightens up onto there. Then that, I'll just zoom out a little bit. And then that then is mounted into the milling machine and spins round, cutting each individual tooth. I'm actually going to try and do it on this small milling machine because it is quite a lot quieter. It's a belt driven machine. Um, whether it'll fit on, I don't know. It's a little bit, drive dividing head looks a little bit big on it, but it looks to me like it will fit on. So I'm going to try it on this one. Just quickly explain how I'm setting the dividing head up. It's a 40 to 1 worm gear ratio. I want 33 divisions, that's 40 over 33. That reduces down to 1 and 7 33s. Uh, that's one full turn and 7 holes in a 33 hole plate. Now I'll just zoom in a little bit on the dividing head so that you can see how I'm doing it. Uh, I say it's 7 holes in a 33 hole plate. I don't know that you can make it out. That's a 33, them are the 33 holes in the top on the outside edge. When you put the pin into this one here, you don't actually count seven holes, including this one. You need seven spaces in between the holes. So it even it equates to eight holes altogether. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes. That equals seven spaces in between. So the pin will drop in there, push that up to it, and then your next set will go around one full turn and seven thirty threes which will be to there once your pin drops into that hole there your sectors go around ready for your next one
these are the gears now they've just been cleaned up uh, only took me a couple of minutes to clean them up with a Stanley knife blade but as you notice they are still stuck together I'll just zoom out a little bit they are still stuck together oh no they're not they've come apart um, so that's basically two gears And just to finish off this video, as you can see, the sleeves that I've made or that I've previously made are on the far extreme, so they they can't be turned round anymore. So them spindles are as far apart as they possibly can be. Um, it does turn, but it's far too tight. So I will either have to make two more gears, uh, make them 32 tooth instead of. Uh, 33 or I will either make some sleeves to make some much bigger sleeves so that I can separate the spindles a lot more